San Diego police are continuing their search tonight for the person who opened fire yesterday outside of the Central Library in East Village. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan, in for Carla Giacchetto. I'm Marcella Lee. The shooter killed one person and injured another. And tonight, the gunman is still on the loose. CBSA's Rocio de la Fe joins us live from near the library with the latest on the investigation. Rocio? Yeah, that's right. We've been out here for several hours now, and I can tell you we've seen police units and detectives drive by, even enter a lot of the businesses nearby in the area, following up on any leads that could help them in their investigation. I can also tell you we've seen family members of the victim, a lot of them who are actually here right now. They've stopped by, left candles, handwritten messages and notes, uh, even flowers. I also talked to a nearby business owner and a person who lives in the area. They both say they are still trying to process process what happened. It's really close to home. A growing memorial outside of the San Diego Central Library is what's now left after the deadly shooting that killed one person and injured another. We could see like the smoke from the gunshots. Surveillance video from Hob Coffee Shop shows the moment customers inside quickly get up from their seats and run for cover, including manager Alyssa Lugo, who says she was conducting a work interview at the time of the shooting. At first, we heard the noise. We weren't quite sure what it was. Um, there was a delivery truck um, blocking our view from it. So at first, we we're like, oh, probably a pallet fell because it just was a loud sound. And then we realized that's not a pallet that fell. Lugo says she and customers ducked for cover while the shooter ran past her building. The door was actually open when it happened, which is how we were able to hear everything a little bit better. That thought after was like, he could have ran in here and there would have been nothing we could have done. She says it all happened so fast, she didn't have time to process who or what she saw. It does still feel a little surreal, like did that actually happen? This cell phone video shows a bystander and police officers checking on the victims as they lay on the ground. We caught up with another man who lives at an apartment complex nearby and heard what happened. It was pretty scary. I mean, it was, I was driving home from the grocery store and didn't expect, you know, I saw a bunch of cop cars. He says this is his first time going outside after the shooting and says many of the people who live in the area are shaken up. You know, you want to feel safe in your own community, but it's things like this that are just unsettling. Police say the suspect took off on K Street wearing what's described as a pink ski mask, which he later took off and dropped on the ground. Detectives say the victim who died was a 20 year old man. The second victim, a 24 year old man, was taken to the hospital and is expected to survive. Details on what led up to the shooting are not yet clear. Now back at here live, we're told police hope to release the victim's identity by tomorrow. As for the gunman, well, we know this is a very busy area of East Village with plenty of surveillance cameras. Police are hoping that they paint a better picture of what happened and can lead them to the shootout, who as of right now, we're only getting a very vague description of from police who uh, they they say he's a black man who is wearing just really dark clothing at the time of the shooting. Back to you guys. Rocio, we know the Central Library is still closed tonight. Any idea on when it might reopen? Yeah, that's right. It does remain closed tonight and staff members do plan to reopen the library on the 27th. And I can also tell you we've seen a lot of security guards on the ground uh, walking around and just really making sure that it's safe, that the area is safe and that it is clear. We're live from East Village, Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8. All right, Rocio, thank you.